What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode five. Proud to be an American. Uh, so last week we had some technical difficulties. I was borderline about to burn every piece of technological equipment that I had, but alas, I did not. And now we're back. It looks like I'm not super choppy. Hopefully everybody can hear me good. Uh, again, I don't have a guest on here going through Zoom and everything else, but we are hardwired in now as opposed to going through Wi-Fi. And so hopefully we're gonna be going a little bit more smoother in the forward in the forward path as we go along with this podcast. But you know, learning is part of the process and here we are. So proud to be an American, patriotism defined. I am Brent Walker, father, husband, two-time Iraq veteran, combat wounded, Purple Heart recipient, turned entrepreneurial philanthropist. Um, I'm the owner of Northman Defense LLC, co-owner of Killfoot Clothing, and we like to provide you the threads of patriotism. All of our stuff is 100% made in the United States, and we are a 100% veteran employer, as well as being 100% veteran owned and operated. So if you're checking anything out, make sure you go to killfootclothing.com and get you some freedom swag. All right, so uh, the plugs that we always talk about every week, proud to be an American, patriotism defined. What is patriotism? So the Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines patriotism as love or devotion for one's country and a patriot as someone who is a person who vigorously supports their country and is prepared to defend it against enemies or detractors. So a lot of the people that we're going to have on the show are these said patriots, mainly being veterans in our community, entrepreneurs, local business owners, but other just proud Americans that we're going to bring onto the show. Um, we're going back old school and just doing a single stream again for today. Uh, because my first guest I was going to bring back again. Once he has availability, I'm going to bring uh, Nick back, and we're going to do another show with him now that everything's running a little bit smoother. Uh, so for today, it's just me, if that's okay with everybody out there. we got five people watching right now, three minutes in, live. All right. So just so everyone knows, this is powered by Poddex, our first show sponsor. Let us know if you have your own shows out there and would like to spice it up with our code. You can get your hands on a time-saving and fun tool to spice up your presentations and your interviews with fun little games. They are little decks of cards that you can get, and they have all kinds of pre-planned questions just for podcasters. And you can play a game where you just pull a card out of the deck and ask a question to your guest. Um, keeps things interesting and helps you out with creativity. All right, I want to plug some other shows you need to check out as well. If you're into podcasting, which you're watching me right now, if you're watching me, you're going to watch other people. These are friends of mine. Uh, we sponsored their shows, and they're doing really great things in the podcasting community and in their local niches. So the first is Just a Guy with the Beer with Scott Fryer. He uh, brings in local restaurateurs, breweries, and other veterans on to talk beer, vets, food, and fun. Go to justaguywithabeer.com. Um, I have been on his show once when we were at uh, Vets Rock this year, November, at Mohegan Sun Casino. That was a good time. Once I get back on to first shift and have some evening availability, I will be trying to get on his show in the evening. Uh, that's coming. So just a guy with a beer, Scott Fryer, just a guy with a beer.com. And you can also find him here on Facebook. Uh, the next show is mission accomplished with Kyle Mish. He features MMA bare knuckle fighting championship and debates on Cobra Kai team, Johnny or team Daniel, which I just started watching. I'm partway through the series. I can't form a firm opinion right now on it, but by the time I get on his show, I'll I'll make sure I make up my mind on which side. Uh, Kyle, he's coming a long way. He's got some hard hitters and champions from the UFC on his show so far. And up to and coming go-getters in the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Check out Mission Accomplished on YouTube and his Facebook group. 
live stream, which is just mission accomplished, M-I-S-H apostrophe N accomplished. And his website is www.kylemish.com. Um, he's actually going to be going down to the Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships come February to do some live interviews with fighters down there. We're going to be sending him with some t-shirts down there that we made to give out to the fighters, which I'm excited for. Uh, so make sure you tune into that mission accomplished, kylemish.com. All right. So some big things coming up with us. Uh, team Killfoot is teaming up with Team Freedom Striders next month starting February 1st. So Monday, is that right? Monday. So we got the entire month of February, 28 days to do the Taji 100 with uh, Team Freedom Striders teaming up with Team Killfoot. So I'm going to be doing some uh, trail videos and talking with some of the other hikers in the group. But what the Taji 100 is, is it's a organizational uh, hike that in the entire month of February, you do 100 miles, either running or hiking or biking or whatever you do. But because I'm a dirty grunt, and I live the dirty grunt lifestyle and continue to embody it as much as I can. We're rucking. I'm going to keep doing my 40 pound four milers, but instead of doing every other day in order to hit the Taji 100, we calculated it out the other day, I'm going to have to hike every day. Um, and so on top of that, we're going to buy in a little bit extra on the weekend when we've got extra time. Cause right now when I'm doing hikes, I'm doing them, before work so i did a hike today already um i work second shift right now on my full-time job at the boat and so we're trying to <laughs> just come up with creative ways to get in hikes where i can and that's going to be the idea going forward in february um and i kind of had a little a little moment today on my ruck it was uh 4.7 miles in hour 20 minutes hour 22 minutes i don't know you guys probably saw the relive video that i posted on facebook a little while ago um so that's what i'm trying to do like every other day just for self-improvement because the past couple of months i've been going through this whole new realization of myself and trying to do what i can and become a better person based on trying to go through each day and improve a little bit about yourself. So I'm reading again. Now by reading, I, I do infantry math by colors. So reading is having a headphone in my ear and doing audio books, but you know what? I'm, I'm processing the information. Um, I hadn't read a book in years and in the last two months, I've gone through like four or five of them. Um, I just, what did I just finish up? I can't even remember what I just read because I didn't write it down. This is why I write things down so I can go back to them and talk about it. But um, right now I'm reading David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me. And as I'm listening to this, as I'm rucking along, you know, he goes through a lot of um, mental toughness and mental uh, mental discipline. And it was it was just, you know, there was something in me that clicked. And I've been trying to do more, trying to do trying to go harder, faster, longer, stronger. And, you know, a couple weeks ago I did, I, my big thing is 40 pound four milers. So I did my 40 pound four miler ruck in the morning and I did it in an hour. So I was like four miles an hour. And that was huge for me because normally we average like three, three and a half miles an hour. But there was something in me that day where I said, screw it. You know what? I'm going to take a couple jogs. Like we uh, do training for the expert infantryman badge. Every 100 meters or so, we'd start jogging just for a little bit. Not running, because you got like 40-pound pack on. Bro, are you kidding me? My knees already hurt. They hurt every day. Like, every part of me hurts right now. But, uh, you know, the more you can keep pushing yourself, the faster you can go, the further you can go, the harder you can go, the stronger you become. And so, you know, there was something in me today. Uh, you know, when I started doing this last week, last week a couple weeks ago i could only go for a little bit maybe maybe less than a minute of jogging but 
as I'm listening to David Goggins go through his story and talking about his determination and just will to succeed and drive and and his his goals that he set for himself. Like I talked about this at the beginning of the year, setting goals for yourself. There's no New Year's resolutions anymore. Screw that. Your New Year's resolutions you throw out of the throw out of the window like a month in. Everybody does this every year. You see the guys, they go to the gym for like a like a month or two, and then they stop going. Set goals for yourself and create realistic, intrinsic ideas throughout the year and milestones. You know, at the end of the year, you want to lose 40 pounds. Well, each quarter, break it down. Each quarter, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. And that way, it's it's something realistic and and intrinsic that you can, that it's, 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 piecemeal and and more bite size for you to latch on to then once you get that first one then you say hey i did 10 maybe next quarter i'm going to do uh 15 pounds instead of 10 pounds and you just keep building on that so that was kind of like what i was in, embodying today and there was this point in my rock where i said you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for a little jog little jog you know normally like maybe get like 30 to 45 seconds to a minute and I just kept going. And I, I couldn't keep track of how long I went, but it was a lot longer than I have gone in a long time. And I said to myself then, I'm like, you know, I, I did the four mile 40 pounder in an hour. You know, I'm gonna start this Taji 100 on Monday. We're going every day. By the end of February, I was talking with my wife earlier. I'm not. There's no more excuses. No more excuses for yourself. Oh, I got blown up. Oh, I got strapped all, all over me. My knees don't work like they do anymore. I'm overweight. I can't do this stuff anymore. This is the stuff I've been telling myself for years. And this is what everybody does. You make excuses for yourself of why you can't do something. And listening to David Goggins, he's, he had every excuse in the book why he couldn't do it. But you know what? He said, fuck that. I am going to do it. And you figure out ways to do it because it's it's all in here. You can push your body to do un, unwavering, ridiculous, amazing things. Mind over matter. So, end of February, four mile, 40 pounds. No, I'm going to do five miles in an hour. That's my goal by the end of February. On top of the 100 miles in 28, 28 days. Yeah, not a leap year. So 28 days. I got it right here. See, I got to write stuff down so I remember what I talk about. My little script as I go along because I'm a scatterbrained infantryman. And I've been blown up one too many times. But again, no more excuses. Find ways... Of creating your success no matter what it is create your goals make it realistic and make it happen for you all right um I didn't have a lot to talk about today besides that as I was planning on doing another interview but uh, thanks to scheduling difficulties we don't have Nick to come back here but like I said I am gonna have him back here again um, so I'm going to go right into the product review for this week. Um, so this week's product review is something that I've had for a long time, and it's another veteran-owned company. And the the cool thing about it is I'm reading about David Goggins, United States Navy SEAL, and it, it just dawned on me last week, why don't I do another product that I already have that I think is cool that's a veteran owned and operated company. And so I got the Freedom Frag by Bottle Breacher, which uh, Eli Crane, the founder and co owner of Bottle Breacher, is a former Navy SEAL. Um, you can check them out at bottlebreacher.com. And this specific model, the Freedom Frag, this color scheme isn't on there right now. I just checked it last night. But they're pretty cool. They're essentially a bottle opener that is an inert dummy frag round. So you look at this, and this is 
almost exactly the same dummies that we use in training, the uh, M67 grenade, which is pretty cool. You know, it's got the pin that you can pull and the spoon flies open, just like a real grenade, but I keep it in place. Um, and they got all kinds of stuff on their website. But the thing I like about them is they are not only a veteran and operated company, they're based out of Tucson, Arizona, and he started in his garage. He got out of the service and he literally just started doing this with like a Dremel tool. The first one was the 50 cal bottle breachers, which I don't have one here. Um, I have another one downstairs, which forethought I should have brought it up here to share with all of you along with the freedom frag. But he started out with the 50 caliber inert rounds and turned those into uh, the, the bottle breachers, which are bottle openers. And they just started getting hot. And then he was on Shark Tank and was very successful with that. Wound up getting on another episode, him and his wife, on Beyond the Tank, which went back into the company and drove further, you know, their profits. The whole idea with business is more eyes. The more eyes you get on your stuff, the more people are going to be looking at you, the more people are going to be talking about you. And when you can get on Shark Tank in front of the nation, you know, suddenly you're in everybody's living room. And if you can create a story that is something that people can relate to, or they think is cool or trendy, then people are going to relate to that. And they're going to go out and they're going to buy your stuff, which is awesome. Uh, maybe someday I'll be on Shark Tank in one of the many, many companies of which I'm doing. I'm starting, well, rebooting, rebooting another website. So Tactical Unicorn was kind of put off to the wayside for a while there. Drop shipping, tactical, outdoors, and survival products. I, I killed that for a while. I didn't like the supplier I was using. Um, it's coming back to life. I got a logo in the works. It just got emailed to me uh, recently, all the changes on it. My little char character, which is pretty cool. I'm psyched about that. Um, so that that's going to be coming up soon. But I digress. Bottle Breacher. Tucson, Arizona, made in the United States. All of their products are made in the United States by Americans here. Um, they currently have a sale on their website right now, 25% off the original 50 cal bottle breacher. Uh, you got to use code 50 cal sale. I had originally set up a cool little video so I could show you one of their commercials, but my technologically uh technological intolerance it doesn't work well with this i had to restart my computer everything got wiped off that's why i started a little bit late but alas perseverance i am here and i'm talking to you so we're going to give you the bald eagle standard of review for the bottle breacher freedom frag so Everybody knows I've got a one to five bald eagle standard for all the products I review. Number one is going to be company headquarters and manufacturing, solely United States, global or veteran owned and operated, employed. That always bumps people up in their ratings. Uh, number two is going to be warranty length, three, quality, four, presentation, and five, durability. So, I don't have to go through all of this. Um, when it comes down to it, the Bottle Breacher Freedom Frag hit all five. They are made in the United States by a veteran in a veteran-owned and operated organization, and they employ a lot of veterans and do great things for the veteran community. Their philanthropy shows no ends. Just in 2015 on their website, it showed they donated to like over 50 nonprofits and that's that's ridiculous like kill foot clothing we can only afford to donate to organizations by printing their t-shirts for cost and that that's all we can do right now so the fact that they're able to go out and reach out to all these organizations is is huge especially helping others in the veteran community you go to their website they have all kinds of different options if you would like to get um, different stuff made for your organization, or if uh, you would like items donated from them to you to use as like a raffle or an auction or anything like that. Um, 
so that's that's wicked uh warranty length if it breaks send it back and they'll send you a new one that's it like no questions asked about it uh so once again full bald eagle on that so one two obviously quality these things are literally handmade by veterans and proud patriots um every i've had this one for two or three years uh and it's opened quite a few beer bottles the only thing that has happened with it is some of the paint on the bottom is starting to wear off from repetitive use but other than that these things are made out of solid metal like you can't break them even their 50 cal breachers they they fuse the heads on there and make sure it's not going to come off everything's real nice the number four presentation is awesome each one of them has the company name and logo on it and they're just really sharp the 50 cal ones the heads of them are polished real nice and they got they got flags on them i mean that's like the number one thing with me with presentation. Does it have a flag on it? Does it say made in the United States? You know, the whole title of this is proud to be an American. Are you proud to be an American with your product? And you know what? These guys embody that. So that's why they are going to receive five out of five bald eagles of American greatness. Uh, again, make sure you go to bottlebreacher.com. Uh, oh, and caveat, like they are not endorsing me in this. This is another product that I legitimately pulled out of, of my little mini bar area that I haven't set up yet down in the basement because I haven't finished the basement yet. It's literally just like piles of like the cool cans that I collect because I'm a weird can collector. So they didn't, they're not paying me. They're not sponsoring me. They didn't send this to me. This is a product that I have had for a while. So I, I personally endorse it as being wicked cool and American. It's, it's not like they are endorsing me. I'm going to be 100% transparent with all these products, even if they do send it to me and say, Hey, try it out. Let me know what's going on with it. But this one, especially like they didn't send it to me. They're not endorsing me. They're not paying me. They're not sponsoring me. I just randomly was like hey i got a bottle breacher freedom frag and this thing's wicked you should check it out so that's that bottle breacher freedom frag five out of five bald eagles for the week um then at the end of our production once i talk about how cool our product of the week is i also have to go a little bit into how awesome we are so if you can see, I am wearing a super sharp Killfoot clothing snapback. This is going to be our product of the week again, product of the month, I guess you could say. Excuse my hairdo. Um, this is something that I'm really proud of that we have that I wear a lot. And I'm trying to push because the guy that makes these is also a veteran. They stitch this thing from beginning to end. They created this logo specifically for me with that nice little anvil on there, Made in America, because one of my side hobbies is I like to do bladesmithing. And, of course, I have absolutely no time to do it now. When I'm not at work, then I'm doing stuff for the business during the day. And when I'm not doing that stuff, I'm hanging out with the family, with the kids, trying to do as much as I can with that. So... Uh, anyways, Killfoot Clothing Snapback right now. You go to the website, killfootclothing.com, find it on there. And these are not only on sale right now, but if you use the code USA, you will get an additional 22% off. So right now, they're on, they're like $10 off on the website right now. You can use the code USA and still get another 22% off. I'm trying to move these things hot because I want more hats. I want to get more cool new stuff. Uh, my my distributor, my hat maker guy, JW Customs, he said that he can now get me FlexFit made in the United States. And that was hard for a while. We couldn't find them. Finding products made in the United States is actually harder than you think. And that's a big struggle for us. So I'm proud of these hats. 
because we custom made these with with someone here in the United States that literally stitched this panel by panel and they're a veteran and these are the things that are important to me and that's why I'm doing this podcast proud to be an American bringing people together to talk about Americanism and patriotism and all the great things about our country because we live in a time right now where not everybody feels that way so we're this little niche community but I feel we can come together not only that but we can talk about the coolest people in the world, veterans of the United States of America, and different events going on. Um, so I talked a little bit before about the Taji 100, and this just brought it back into my mind again. Taji 100, Freedom Striders, Team Killfoot. So I want to bring that up again. If you are a veteran or if you are a proud American patriot, I don't care if you served or you didn't serve, you can join Team Killfoot. Uh, on Facebook, go ahead and send us a message and let us know that you'd like to uh, get active with us. We're doing all kinds of different events throughout the year. Last year and the year before, we did Tough Rock 26.2. Um, me and my partner. This year, I had a second partner that joined on like literally that week. No training whatsoever. Active duty Navy. He just said, hey, I think this is this sounds pretty stupid. I want to do it. I love that dude. And he jumped in with us, no training whatsoever, and he did the 26.2 miles with us. It was virtual this year, so we did it on the airline trail starting in Colchester, Connecticut here this year. But it's sounding like it might be coming up again in Concord. When we did it the first year, one of the coolest things I've ever done. Here we are doing 26.2 miles uh, the day before the Boston Marathon. And... It's sponsored by the Boston Marathon Association, surrounded by all kinds of veterans and proud American patriots. They have fife and drum bands. They've got reenactors out there. And we're literally hiking through the birthplace of the American Revolution, the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the battlefield right there, Minuteman National Park. It was. It brought chills to me as I'm hiking through this area. It was just unbelievable. And that's the kind of stuff that we do. We do that. Um, we raised three thousand dollars for uh, for the uh, designated charity for the Tough Rock that year. Last year, we did almost five thousand dollars. Me and uh, my partner Rob. And you know that that's what it's about. Just doing what we can to give back, and that's what Team Killfoot's about. Uh, doing what we can to give back, doing events like that, doing the Spartica Wounded Warrior 5K in Groton. This year we did the uh, Wounded Warrior Carry Forward 5K. We did the um, APK 5K. And the great thing about doing this stuff with, with other people, with Team Killfoot, and putting this stuff together not only are we being philanthropic and giving back to our community and helping out other veterans through these nonprofits, but we are getting together in our local community and creating this tribe where now we have close friends that we weren't really that, you know, we may not have been that close with before, but now when you in the, in the service, we know when you, when you bleed with someone, when you sweat with someone, you create a bond that can't be broken with anything else. And that's the whole idea for people doing this is to create that tribe again. Getting out of the military, you lose that sense of community. You, especially like me, I was active duty for seven years. For seven years, I lived, slept, trained, and fought with my my 30 dudes 30 40 dudes in my platoon in the strikers and that was it like we're cramped up in the back of this truck for hours upon end when we we're deployed and you're sleeping leaning over like literally using your buddy as a pillow right next to you and that was life for a long time for us and you create a bond that's just unbreakable then you get out of the military and now you don't have that anymore and that's kind of what we're trying to create is something for people to latch on to. Uh, another event that we do, uh, we didn't do it this year, but I've done it two years previous that I helped out organize, um, is Reverend Warrior Silky Hike. 
and that can be kind of a shit show with uh the drinking and irreverentness of it because it's about veterans being able to get together and taking off the clothes from society and being able to be around you know when we did the first norwich silky hike norwich connecticut three years ago we had over 200 people so these are people in the community i had no idea they were veterans and now you get walking next to them and talking to them about their story oh when did you serve where were you and you meet people the thing gives me the most chills going through the silky hikes um one of my friends who i still talk to a lot um So not only do we rock together, but we ride motorcycles together. She's a good friend of mine. Talking with her, um, she was, you know, <laughs> it's like six degrees of Kevin Bacon. She was one of the people who, when I landed in Landstuhl, Germany, on my Kazovac flight after I had been wounded, she was one of the people who took me off the plane and and put me on the bus in order to go to the treatment facility in launch stool. And here I am like nine, 10 years later meeting this person hanging out and we start talking and it comes out and I'm just like, Holy shit. So, um, yeah, that was just big. And th those, these are the kinds of things that happen when when you do this kind of stuff you know you get the six degrees of kevin bacon and finding people that you serve next to and you didn't even realize you were in the same place i don't know how many people i've talked to here in connecticut on the opposite side of the country they were like oh yeah i was up in up in uh alaska and fort rain wainwright with the striker brigade up there i was we were getting our christmas tree this year and the nice old feller that was selling us the tree was asking me about the logo on my truck because I got careful clothing on the side of my truck because I'm a cool guy. And starting talking to him, his son was an officer stationed in another battalion in the brigade, but in another battalion the same time that I was up at Fort Wayne, Red, Alaska. And come to find out, he lives like 10 minutes from me. Ridiculous. He hasn't reached out yet, but I hope he does. Uh, but that kind of stuff's important. Uh, being able to have this community back home again. And I, I talk about it a lot. I think out of everything that we do, that is probably the most important thing that we do as veterans. Um, and even as civilians. You know, I have a lot of civilian friends who latch on to this idea as well. Because they see how tight-knit and how proud we are when we get together and and they like being a part of that even if they didn't serve they're still proud american patriots and that's why i add that to this as well because they want to do what they can too you know for us and for other veterans here back in the united states post-service even if they didn't serve they want to do everything they can to to improve our quality of life a little bit even if it's just hanging out with us talking and having a beer and that you know that goes fathoms beyond just sending money to an organization um so yeah team killfoot facebook check it out join us rock sweat drink we do it all um but it's about creating this tribe back here and reaching out to one another having that resource network i don't know how many times i've heard of people through irreverent warriors where they have started going back into that rabbit hole starting that downward spiral again and now that they knew they had other people locally who had been through that they were able to you know reach out from that hole reach up and say dude i'm having a hard time i need somebody to talk to and you know i can't verify that a lot of lives have been saved but we're trying to take 22 and make it none every day. That's what it's about. And making ourselves better in the process. Goals. Set your goals. What are you going to do? Like me, February 
five miles, 40 pounds, one hour, February. Also, 100 miles for the entire month of February. Um, last year, what did I do? Last year, I lost 25 pounds. Uh, this year, I lost 10 pounds so far. I keep fluctuating up and down because I've been weak. I keep making excuses. I keep giving reasons for why I can't improve. And a lot of people have that problem. Stop making excuses and just do it. You know, it happens to me. I keep getting pushed down. I'm on second shift. I don't get to see my family. I'm not sleeping enough. I'm overweight because I get depressed and then I start eating more and then I get more overweight and then it's just this weird cyclical bullshit that everybody finds themselves getting into. Just stop it. Look yourselves in the mirror and find yourself accountable. Create your goals and legitimately fucking post them up somewhere. Like David Goggins talks about the accountability mirror. Go through and write down post-it notes and put them on your mirror. And every day, look at yourself in the mirror. And if you think you're overweight, tell yourself, hey, you're fat. You need to lose weight. And this is how you're going to do it. Not just saying it, but doing it. And that's the big thing. A lot of people don't take that next step. I always talk in circles. I'm, I've already gone through everything in the script. I'm just like talking now at this point. I love it. But that's the cool thing about these uh, podcasts is I just get to talk about whatever I want because I'm on the camera and people are going to listen. Maybe Thor's here and Mr. Dr. Robert Garcia tuning into my show. It's a huge honor. Um, Liz, who else do we got? Oh, wow. I didn't see all the rest of the uh, comments down here. This is great. Thanks, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Um, so that's what this stuff is about. Make yourself a better person. My computer's pinging me. I'm getting messages. Set your goals. Realistic. Attainable. Write them down. Figure out what you're going to do in what amount of time and make it realistic something that you can actually do or you can be like me and be crazy and say i'm gonna do a mile in five miles in an hour with a 40 pound pack you know that may not be realistic to some people maybe you just go out and say hey i'm gonna i'm gonna go run a mile and be able to run a mile maybe you're not running maybe you're going out and saying all right i'm gonna hike two miles today and then you you do that for a little while and then you say all right i'm gonna do four miles today then you start increasing it then you start adding in hikes where you've got increasing variations in elevation or maybe you start carrying more weight it's all here if you can get past this then you can do anything obstacles are meant to be broken down, crossed over, and dominated. And you can do it. Anybody can. Listen to me. I sound like, like a self-help speaker. This is pretty good. Uh, this is going to be so much easier to have a normal conversation when I have somebody else to talk to. All I'm really doing is talking to myself and the screen and everybody commenting and Listen to Jackie next door with her keyboard clickety click click clickety click 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 click. <laughs> She's shaking her head at me right now. Jackie's working from home right now. So my uh, office hours are normally like 11 to 1 and Wednesday in the middle of the week she's still working. So I'm like intruding on her piece for working during the day to do my video here. And of course, we got our two beagles in here. Odin laying on the floor over here. And every now, I'm surprised he's been quiet. Normally, you hear him grumbling. <sighs> He'll pop in the video one of these days. Hi, Maggie. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Uh, so, yeah, that's this. All right. So, upcoming stuff Taji 100 next month. Um, I'm sure there's still. 
time for you to join us if you would like to. So uh, if you are interested in joining us in the Taji 100 and, you know, accomplishing this feat with us, uh, reach out to me and I can get you the information to sign up for it. I'm sure that it's not too late. And even, you know, even if you just want to jump on, like my my buddy Sully did with Tough Rock last year, where it's like the week before he said, hey, this sounds stupid. I'll do it. Hadn't trained, hadn't done anything, just hopped on the trail with us and started rucking. And he did wicked. Uh, that dude's in great shape, though. Don't let him kid you. He's a big dude. He's like six foot bajillion. And uh, he was he was doing way better than I was. I was hurting. <laughs> but... Yeah, and he's still active duty Navy, so he's got to maintain some some form of uh, physical fitness. Me, I'm just fat and lazy at this point. But I'm changing that. Goals, right? No more excuses. Like Doris said, your greatest obstacle is the one staring back at you in the mirror. So if you can, if you can get past that, you can do anything. Oh, what else we got going on this year? Motorcycle runs. We're going to be doing a lot of motorcycle stuff this year. I'm pumped for that. Um, I'm excited for the snow to be gone to get back on my scooter. Um, we'll be having a bunch of different rides throughout the year, helping various nonprofits. We had one on New Year's Day which we raised like $300 to donate to 22 Kill, a veteran suicide prevention organization. Uh, so not only is Team Killfoot doing some, uh, you know, physical stuff, we're doing some, you know, wicked cool fun, fun adrenaline stuff too. And now I got this GoPro, which y'all are looking at me through. So uh, that's going to be going on the trips with us. And we're going to be filming all of it. We're going to be doing some video editing. Maybe somebody can come and join team killfoot that has some video editing skills because i'm horrible with this technological stuff as you could tell from last week but it looks it looks okay for today my background is haphazard but i gotta include the drawings from my daughter she comes up after school every day she's doing virtual learning with my mother next door so she gets home from school comes up in the office with jackie and um you can't see it on the other side so this is my normal side. I'm going to let you in a little bit my life here. Get on the other side here. So I've got like my marketing things from Russell Brunson as I'm reading his books the last couple months. I've read like every Russell Brunson book at this point. I'm getting to be a weird Russell Brunson nerd. Um, but uh, my all my marketing stuff, different ideas, dream customer, uh, current interview list. If you're interested, you can get your name on that list. Just hit me up in the DMs, slide to them DMs, and you can come talk with me on the show. Uh, but down on the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, or am I in the way? Yeah, I'm in the way. All right, so my daughter comes up and she draws on my board every day. And I have to make sure that I have the board facing so that she can use it otherwise she gets all upset but um she's got a couple fire trucks that she drew there and those are, these are like the little cool things about what i'm doing in the setup that i have here in the office that really make it worth it like i who cares if i make any money if i do some of this cool stuff that brings value to other people in the community and to my family at the same time like I would have never thought I had this giant marker board, but I'm like, hey, you know what? I got this little one and I need more space. And Arya keeps drawing on. <laughs> I've got this other tiny little one that I had over here for a while. And I she kept erasing all my stuff to draw her thing. So I had to get a new marker board, which is now my backstop at the same time for the videos. But. Oh, all right. So. I'm almost an hour at this point, 45 minutes. I think I'm going to cut myself off at 45 minutes. That's usually a good stopping point for me. But uh, again, everybody, make sure you go check out Bottle Breacher. 
founded by Eli Crane, Navy SEAL, and his wife, BottleBreacher.com. That was the Freedom Frag. They've got the uh, coupon for, what did I say, 25% off right now. Looking back through my notes. I'll post it later on. I'm going to edit the description and all of that stuff. 25% off 50 caliber bottle breachers. Use code 50 cal sale. And again, this episode is brought to you by Poddex. If you are interested in adding that to your podcast, then let me know. I can get you a custom code that will get you a discount off of those. And I can introduce you into the cool things about them, especially if you're doing interview podcasts and or if you just want to play uh, words against humanity with people, you know, that's cool too, but this is like a toned down version of words against humanity. All right. So until next week, thanks for tuning in. And I've just got one more question for everybody. Do you love America? Damn right. You do later, everybody.